Have you been told that it's normal to have swelling accumulate around your ankle joint after an ankle sprain? And that swelling could last for weeks or months. Just get on with life and you'll be all right. Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you a case study of a young man who we met recently here in our clinic. This young man is in his early 20s and he is an elite soccer player. Now he sprained his ankle while training and he was told by the team's physio that it's normal to have a swollen ankle after you have a sprain and it could be there for weeks or months. Just get back to training and you will be fine. Now this young man felt pain and twinges that shoots through his ankle whenever he walked or run. So he did feel comfortable about his ankle and certainly wasn't comfortable about playing on it. So he decided to get a second opinion. He came to us here at My Favorite Physio and what we did was to carry out a full assessment of his foot and ankle. And what we found was he had a lot of swelling accumulate around his ankle on the outside as well as on the inside. He was very tender to touch whenever we felt around that ankle joint where all that swelling had occurred. So the team physio is correct. After an ankle sprain, it is not uncommon to get this swelling occur. It's your body trying to heal. But what happens is if you don't treat it correctly, which most people don't, is your body will try and heal and create scar tissues to give that ankle joint, all its ligaments, a little bit more stability because it's trying to heal itself. Left untreated, that swelling becomes hard and pudgy, so it's that scar tissue that you'll feel becomes a lump around your ankle. The problem with leaving it untreated is it can affect the way your ankle then moves, which gives you those twinges whenever you try to walk or run again. So many people after an ankle sprain would say to you, they never feel the ankle is stable and it may be months or years down the road and they never feel quite right with their ankle. He also had a lot of um, tendon inflammation around his ankle. So the, the muscles that come from the front and the back of his leg was coming around and the tendons into his toes were all swollen. They were tender to feel. So he was really sore and tender when we had to poke around those areas. He had really tight calf muscles and his Achilles tendon around the back was really tight and sore. Again, swelling and inflammation around the back there, around where his ankle and heel was. What we first have to do was to get rid of all that swelling. We do that effectively with radio shockwave therapy, which is that machine you see behind me. We wanted to break down the scar tissue so that healing occurs and that that swelling reduces and he now will get back to the same ankle size he should have. We also worked on his calf muscles because the problem is people don't often look at why in the first place your ankle was twisting over. You know, often it's because of the overuse injury around in the muscles above and below. So, you know, we worked on the muscles in his calf and on the front of his shin to release it so that the tendons could glide easily around the ankle. We did that and literally in the first session with radio shockwave therapy to his calf muscles, his shin muscles, all around his, his ankle and ligaments. And he got up off the bed feeling really light and free. There was no pain when he stood on it. And just within one session, he felt much better. He could squat down and not have twinges or pain in his ankle. Now, obviously one session is not the only thing we do. He does have a treatment plan, but we're going to get him back to playing pain-free. And the best thing about it is he will not be at risk of re-injuring his ankle because at elite level of sports, if you don't look after your ankle, it's overuse injury from the muscles above the ankle joint, ligaments that have been damaged. What will happen is all you do is one quick move and you could quite likely tear those ligaments and end up with major ankle injuries that could put you out for a whole season and perhaps out of your whole career from then on. So if you're out there and you've had ankle sprains, you've got a big fat swelling around your ankle and you look at your two ankles and you think one's bigger than the other. Every time you walk, you get twinges and pain. When you run, you just feel you can't run so well. 
it's probably because you've not got rid of that ankle swelling from an ankle sprain before. The best thing to do is to speak to one of our expert physiotherapists here at My Fair Physio. Find out what we can do to help you overcome your ankle pain to get you back to active living and running at your best. The number to ring here at My Favorite Physio is 02-9790-4233. And if you know somebody out there in your role who's really struggling with a chronic ankle pain from recurrent ankle sprains, why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.